We're here at the National Convention Centre in Dublin where we're welcoming the European People's Party Congress. We've over two and a half thousand people here today. We've representatives from 38 countries. We've over 15 heads of state here. Our presence at a European level um, has been very significant. I think there's huge respect for Ireland right across Europe and the world. It also shows how strong the leadership of Enda Kenny as Taoiseach is in Europe. He's able to convince other European leaders to come to Ireland and to listen to our story. And it's a vote of confidence in Ireland uh, and indeed the recovery of our international reputation. What I'm looking forward to most is welcoming um, our fellow Europeans to our country and showing them what we have to offer. Today I was speaking about jobs, jobs and jobs because that's what people are talking about, that's what people want. Uh, we need to restore confidence in our economy, we need to see businesses grow and expand. There's every reason to be confident about Fine Gael's chances in the upcoming European elections. We have candidates, I think, of experience and ability right the way across the country. Uh, and our team of six candidates, you know, we can do well. Fine Gael and the EPP have invited Facebook to today's conference to really work with uh, politicians, MEPs and candidates and uh, their social media teams to help them understand how best to use Facebook to engage and connect with citizens. The two biggest opposition parties within Ukraine are actually members of EPP and connected to us. Uh, EPP can play a huge role and need to because now we don't see uh, a very strong message from everything else. This is our responsibility. This Congress over the next couple of days is going to show the pivotal role that Senegal plays within European politics and obviously the pivotal role that Europe plays in Ireland and Ireland plays in Europe.